for your sake you don't have your pension or any investments with Phoenix Life. They, under their operations director Mylind Duru, qualify for the Money Minute Idiots of the Year Award. I have a very small occupational pension dating back to the 1980s. Portfolios of these kind of assets get bought and sold between the insurance companies and mine had the misfortune to end up at Phoenix Life. In 30 plus years, they managed to grow it to the princely sum of £8,000. And as I hit 65 in February, they wrote to me offering the range of options that were available. Because it's so small and because I'm 65, I could have taken the whole lot as cash. However, I thought it made sense to transfer it to my main pension where I could include it in my overall investment strategy and hopefully achieve better results than Phoenix Life had. I wrote to request the transfer, including a covering letter from my pension administrator, Rowan Moore. Some idiot in Milan Duru's department at Phoenix Life decided that this looked like a case of pension liberation and reported me to HMRC. HMRC then wrote to me demanding 29 items of information going back to when my pension scheme was first established. I provided all of this and sent it by courier months ago and neither I nor Phoenix Life have heard a thing from HMRC since. I remind you that pension liberation is when people try to access their pension funds before they are legally allowed to at the age of 55. I am 65, so that rule is irrelevant. Secondly, surely transferring the funds to another pension fund is the exact opposite of pension liberation. They would remain wrapped in the pension until I decide to go into drawdown. Saving and investing for retirement is hard enough without incompetent fools like you find in Phoenix Life's pensions transfer department. This is a family show, so I can't use the language that their rank stupidity deserves. Needless to say, the pensions ombudsman now has another complaint to add to the ceiling high pile marked Phoenix Life Blunders. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some previous episodes, click here. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes.